Hello, hi and Namaskar. My name is Kirtan and I am a second year medical student studying in a government medical college. Today I will be talking about the topic triple response. It is one of the easiest and shortest topic in the cardiovascular system unit and can be asked as a three markers question in the board examination. So let's start. So before knowing what is triple response, we should first discuss what are the vascular responses to the injury. So the vascular responses to the injury can be divided into white reaction and the triple response. So what is white reaction first of all? So when the skin is stroked lightly, the stroke line becomes pale. As you can observe that when you scratch your skin lightly, the stroke line becomes pale. So why does this happen? It happens due to the obstruction in the blood flow. Obstruction in blood flow so why does the blood flow gets obstructed here it up it gets obstructed due to the due to the closure of pre capillary sphincter pre capillary sphincter so when the pre capillary sphincter closes the obstruction happens in the blood flow and the line becomes pale so this occurs within 15 seconds 15 seconds so this is a white reaction then comes the triple response so when the skin is stroked more firmly with a pointed object it causes triple response so its triple response is again divided into three components that are red reaction flare and wheel so we'll talk about these topics or sub comp components of this triple response one by one so first one is the red reaction so wh why is this called red reaction because the skin becomes red so why does the skin becomes red because it's due to the capillary dilation so as the capillaries become dilated due to the more blood flow due to more blood flow the skin becomes red more blood flow so why does this capillary dilate because due to the pressure effect due to pressure effect due to pressure effect the capillary gets dilated and there is the red reaction component of the triple response then comes the flare reaction so in the flare reaction the blood vessels vessels like arterioles like arterioles get dilated so in the flare reaction the blood vessels like arterioles like get dilated so therefore due to this dilation of the arterioles also the redness of the skin spreads throughout the skin and therefore it causes the flare component of the triple response so why does this arterioles get dilated after the dilation of the capillaries so there is a reflex called Axon reflex. Axon reflex. So imagine this as an axon. I am drawing an axon here. Please mind my drawing. So this is the soma part or the body part of the axon, and these are the axon terminals. Axon terminals. Normally, the impulse travels from the soma to the axonal terminals and this is called as the orthodromic conduction. And this is the normal conduction way, pathway. But in the axon reflex, it is the example of antidromic conduction. So antidromic conduction means that the conduction goes from the axonal terminals towards the body of the nerve cell. So this is the axonal reflex. So in the flare component of the triple response, due to the axonal reflex, the impulse travels from the nerve cell to the blood vessel. So the impulse is traveled to the blood vessels, that is mainly to the atrials which causes the dilation of the atrial 
so it also goes to the spinal cord but due to the axon reflex it goes to the blood vessel also so when it conducts to the blood vessel it releases chemicals like chemicals like substance p substance p and calcium gene related peptide or in the short form cgrp so these chemicals dilates the arterioles which causes the spreadness of the redness in the skin so therefore it's the flare component of the triple response so now coming to the wheel reaction of the triple response here there is edema so edema is seen in the wheel component of the triple response so why does edema happen here so when the capillary is dilated it becomes more permeable so when the, there is increase in the permeability of the capillaries there is extravasation of the fluid extravasation of the fluid from the blood vessels into the tissues so why does this capillaries become more permeable due to which chemical does this happen so it happens due to the release of histamine from the local mast cells local mast cells so here the capillary is dilate due to the release of histamine whereas in the red reaction the capillary is dilate due to the effect of the pressure so that's it for this video this is a short video and this is only to explain that triple response is an important topic and can be asked majorly in the board examination so you should not ignore this topic as it is small so in this video we studied about the vascular responses to tissue injury that is white reaction and the triple response in the white reaction we discussed about why does it become pale that is due to the closure of precapillary sphincter and then the triple response the three components that are red reaction flare and wheel in the red reaction there is capillary dilation and this is due to the pressure effect whereas in the flare there is spreadness of the redness in the skin and this is due to the arterioles get dilated that is again due to the axonal reflex that is nothing but the antidromic conduction of the nerve cell and it releases chemicals like substance p and calcium gene related peptide and we discussed also about the wheel component that is this is due to the edema this edi there is edema because there is capillary dilation and it becomes more permeable therefore causing extravasation of fluid and therefore release of and this happens due to the release of histamine from the local mast cells so that's it for this video if you have found this video informative please like share and comment and also don't forget to subscribe i'll provide the notes for this video and also my previous videos in my telegram channel that is physiology at once i'll provide the link in the description below thank you